stop the program. It is December 3rd, 2020 at 11.03 and girls, we just hit 10K subscribers on the channel. Like, yes, I said 10K. I am like hype, honey. At first I was tired, girl, I'm nowhere near tired now. Now I am hype, I wanna call all my friends. I wanna like get on FaceTime, play City Girls and cut up. I am like big hype right now. Guys, thank you guys so much for supporting and helping me grow here on the channel. Like. Y'all, the craziest thing is I was just looking at my journal every year in December when I'm reflecting, <clears throat> I write down everything that I want to accomplish for the following year. So last year, I wrote down, be consistent on YouTube, upload weekly on YouTube, and hit 10K subscribers. That was like a YouTube goal. Just three little goals. And guys, I have officially hit every single goal go on that list also every single goal that i put in that book has been checked off and the year is not even over yet like let me tell you something the power of writing things down and truly believing that things can come to you because honestly i was one of them people that always thought things can happen for other people but not me so i was always like that friend like oh Girl, I'm happy for you. I'm praying for you. I never really expected certain things to happen to me. For some people, 10K subscribers may be like, oh girl, not a big deal. To me, it is a big deal. So we're celebrating. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much. I wanted to go live with you guys probably on YouTube or Instagram. But honestly, guys, please do not let YouTube fool y'all. Please, I know I be posting like right now. I'm talking because I am alone. There's nobody in here. There's nobody here. I'm shy as hell. So going on live, I'm just so shy. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to talk about? I'm shy. But I come to say thank you guys so much, so much. I appreciate it. And I'm excited. The journey has just begun, girl. We're here. We have arrived. We have arrived. We have arrived. So I just stopped to Starbucks to get a croissant because I am starving and right now I'm just on my way to get a P.O. box because you guys keep asking how could you send me packages so I'm just uh let me turn this up y'all the weather here right now is horrible it is great as you can see so I'm gonna just go up just a little let's see how this looks I think that's fine okay yeah i'm on my way to get a p.o box i need to go to home goods because i want to kind of like i have i have a lot that i want to look for like home decor oh my god this mask is killing me and yeah i got a couple other things to do oh i also want to get myself a oh people looking at me i also want to get myself a um a car because as y'all know i did i made 10k subscribers and just how i do birthday cars i also like to give myself um congratulation cards and most people may think it's super weird but i like to go back and look at them when it's like years from now but oh my god people are literally staring oh my god having a mask on with she was all in my face having a mask on with glasses is just not oh my god more people coming okay girl i'm gonna just see y'all later because at this point it's uncomfortable <laughs> a P.O. box that's why I'm here because a lot of you girls have been asking okay asking how could you send me packages so I decided to get a P.O. box so now I'm just going to start linking the P.O. box in my description so you guys can just send over packages as freely as you like be generous I don't mind and yeah so that's what we did now I have to run a couple more errands and yeah 
you, you guys are coming with me. I just started watching American Horror Story. I know, I'm so late, but let me tell you how crazy something is, y'all. I passed this house that was featured in American Horror Story. I passed this house every single day, but I didn't know it was the house. And every time I pass, I'm like, why are people stopping to look at this house? Like, what is so special about this house? Girl, now that I've watched the, um, ep the season, I'm like, oh my God. So now as I'm walking, <laughs> drinking my coffee, I get a little spooked out because look at this, hold on. I don't know if y'all watch American Horror Story, but this is the house, hold on. I don't want to cross the street because I'm a little weird and I don't know what was in that house, but this is the house, girl. How cool is that? I literally pass this house every single day, but I refuse to walk anywhere right here, babes. I'm gonna stand right here on my side of the street, but yeah. And per usual, everybody looking, but I think I'm getting much better with vlogging in person, uh, in public, but yeah, I'm getting much better with vlogging. Vlogging, oh my God, it's a school and I see kids. Y'all, these houses in New Orleans are so creepy. Like, look at this house behind me. That is creepy as hell. But, bye y'all. One eternity later. I could really sit here all day. So I'm about to close this computer. I need to get some green tea and I need to kind of like have a productive day because I want you guys to see this today because I mean, why not? Bonus video of the week. Y'all, my skin looks so bomb. And even this, I want y'all to see this. Sit, hold on, let me come closer. It is slightening up. And I'm about to show y'all what I use. Actually, hold on, let me take off my glasses. To get this glow, cause my skin was so dull and just so like, she needed a little rev a little help. So I'm about to show you girls what I, what I have been using to get my skin like back to its normal glow and I'm kind of like fading this spot. It was really, really dark and it's slowly fading. So let me show you guys what I've been using. Okay, so exfoliate and I still been using my Peter Thomas Roth mask. I'm gonna link it down below. This is my all time favorite um, exfoliator and she does the job. Like y'all, it's the glow for me. And this morning my face did not look like this. I looked horrible. After I, <clears throat> oh, after I exfoliate, I go in with the kills turmeric and cranberry seed radiance mask this it just like give you like a beautiful beautiful glow if you have not watched my full review or skincare routine on all of these products i'm gonna just go ahead and link it above but right now this is the combo that i'm using because right now for some reason my skin is cutting up and i have never dealt with like bad skin at all not saying i'm having like a bad skin but i had like a breakout down here and this I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking this is from wearing masks. So I ordered a um, whole pack of them, a hundred. Once I put it on my face one time, girl, I'm throwing it away. Nothing gets reused at all. But I exfoliate, leave this on for seven minutes, um, put this on my face, let it sit until it's completely like hard and dry. Wash it off with warm water, pat my face dry. Um, I'll spray my facial spray everything will be linked down below um let that kind of dry not too much because i like to add my um kills ultra facial cream moisturizer to like a damp skin because it just like oh it looks so luscious and i just feel like it hydrates my skin more and this is my go-to anytime i get a dark mark on my face and i want to fade it it never fails it always works i use Hold on, let me turn my camera down. Let me see if you guys can see it. No? Okay, well, it's the Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer. Y'all, this is like crack to me. I don't know what happened to my camera. She's been a little disrespectful, so. But yes, this stuff never fails. And actually, I'm gonna just put some on now. So what I do is, some. I always put it and it has sunscreen also so I use it in the summertime as sunscreen but when I'm trying to fade a dark mark I would dab it like that and I would keep circular motion in the same spot that the mark is and I always I don't always rub it in completely I kind of like 
leave some on there just to sit and sometimes i also put a dab on it and i'll put like a band-aid on it to keep it in its face so y'all i've been doing this for years and this stuff work i, I get it from walmart for 11 dollars. it's so worth it like y'all don't understand it will fade dark marks and i love the fact that it fades the dark marks it does not like light my skin or make my skin lighter than it should be it just evens out my skin right now Evens out my skin. I'm just like looking at the camera and my skin. See from this side, she like. I'm that girl, yes. Now this side, she like, help me sis, help me. Also, I went to Sephora yesterday because I keep seeing this Dior backstage face and body foundation everywhere. And I was like, man, I need to try it. So I, I'm trying um, Five Warm, Five W y'all this face and body foundation is so pigmented like so pigmented usually i like foundations that are kind of like light coverage because i don't really need a lot of coverage but guys this foundation is so pigmented how do i need to turn down my camera let's see it looked like i didn't do nothing but yes this foundation is so pigmented i haven't tried it fully on my face i like swatched it in the store but first of all how cute is the packaging Hold on. I think the packaging is so, so cute. Y'all, it's so pigmented that a little goes a long way. Like, I, when I was just dabbing it on my face, just one little dab covered up this whole side of my face. Like, you don't need a lot at all. So, I said tomorrow, since I'm leaving the house, I'm gonna try this out to see what she's given because she was $40 and I have not spent that type of money on foundation in a long time I used to um use NARS sheer glow that was my girl but lately I just been using my Maybelline fit me foundation for five dollars and that girl she does the job however if I can find something better that's gonna last all day and give me like the flawless look that I like why not try something um new oh um, I was supposed to go to Louis today to get my agenda because I don't know if y'all remember I said once I hit 10k subscribers I will get a Louis agenda. One, it's always sold out. Two, I didn't. But I have to do some Christmas shopping at Saks and I have to, I'm going to be down there tomorrow so I'm going to just stop and I'm going to be with Ray because we have some other stuff that we're going to do tomorrow so I'll just do that tomorrow but yeah y'all that's pretty much all i got oh i hope y'all like the vlogmas intro hopefully i don't get copyrighted or demonetized but yeah y'all was like i need a new vlogmas intro and i'm like girl you want to do it for me <laughs> but hopefully y'all like it but that's all i got for your girls today girl i'm sitting here watching mean girls the girls could not take regina george regina george was out there wearing the girls out for feel uh, while I'm sitting here, my nail tech just called me and she canceled on me again and I'm so annoyed because this is the third time that she has done this. And also, when I know I'm about to get my nails done, like the night before, I start picking at them. I just start picking the polish off. I don't know, it's a habit. And she didn't cancel on me. So now I have to find another nail shop and I hate letting other people do my nails. So, <sighs> and girl, I cannot leave the house with my nails tore up. I'm just not. I'm not. I will wear gloves in 100 degree weather before I show people my toe up nails. That just killed my whole vibe. So I'm going to just go ahead and end the video here and try to see if I can find me a nail appointment last minute. I'm talking about I need to be there with the next 10 to 15 minutes. So bye girls. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and come back for more.